As Tolton Center Evans Apollon says, you have to have dreams. And through the ups and downs of his life, he's never let go of his. One Mid Missouri family played a part in making those dreams come true. But as ABC 17's Natalie Jones tells us, Apollon has done just as much for them as they've done for him. <laughs> center Evans Apollon. He's a big kid and he's athletic. He was very big. <laughs> he's six foot eight. Only started playing basketball about four years ago. I was kind of like tall, probably like six, six, three, six, four at that time. Even with his height. He was so raw. I mean, he was a blank slate when he got here. There was still some work to be done. His basketball moves in the post, which is what we've been working on. Uh, he's improved like a lot. You know, he used to Always bring the ball down. He's not doing that like, anymore. But hard work is nothing new for the junior. Hey! Apollon now lives in Colombia, but originally hails from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Haiti has just been under duress for a long time, but this year in particular, they had another earthquake, a tropical storm. Their president was assassinated. They've got so much violence. There's so much stuff going on over there. So it's like you have to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to work hard and be something in life. His opportunity of a lifetime came when he was just 15 years old through a program known as Power Forward. The organization gives young Haitian athletes the opportunity to get an education in America. Everybody was dreaming about this stuff, you know what I'm saying, to play for high school in America, and I was happy. He didn't come over here just to play basketball. He came over here to learn. He takes that very seriously. Apollon was placed with a family in mid-Missouri. It came completely out of the blue. And, uh, you know, it was initially, you know, you're, you're thinking to yourself, uh, I, wow, I've got four boys already. Uh, but uh, when after talking with the boys, like I said, they were really excited about it. That was the one kind of saying, like, hey, let's do this. I think this would be pretty cool, like, just having a Haitian brother in the family. We just had a piece about it, you know? And I think when you pray about something and then you just kind of get that piece that you know it's the right thing to do. Moving from Haiti to America was not always easy. He didn't know English at all. Like, he was either good or bad. Like, hi, that was it. He didn't really know anything else. I, I was um, on personal finance on my first um, summer. Mm -hmm. I was in personal finance. I mean, I remember me did not understand nothing about that class. But Apollon put in the work. I can give myself that credit. I came a long way. To push himself towards a bigger goal. I have big goals for my family to help to help them and everything they need. Apollon still has family in Haiti, including his mother. There's not like security over there. So I have to like tell him to be careful and stuff like that and you know Keep praying for them. He has dreams of playing college basketball. When you ask him what he wants to study, he says business, but he's not really sure what he wants to do. We're just excited that he's here and has all these opportunities. But no matter what lies ahead, Apollon has left his mark on mid-Missouri. Just looking where he came from and what the stories he tells me, it's, it's just like, yeah, like I'm, I, don't, I won't ever take life for granted. A lot of these kids, even in general, go home to a, a heated home. They go home to running water. They go home uh, to a situation where they don't have to worry about the things that he's had to worry about in this past. But if you ask Evans. It changed my life, like, in a way I can't even describe. They motivate me, you know what I'm saying? Like, get better, Evans, get better, get better. Mid-Missouri has left its mark on him. Reporting in Columbia, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports.